Hi guys, what's up? Yeah, Casey K. Uh, look at it outside. It's nice outside. Can't even lie. Look at my bro Goku. Just chilling. Look at that. Nice, nice. Did I ever mention how nice it was outside? How did I got you guys' attention? Yeah, what's good, YouTube? Son KCK, another video. What's good with y'all? Y'all look beautiful. Y'all look beautiful. Can't even lie. Y'all look good. Y'all look good. Can't even lie. So, is, it, is this too bright? This may be too bright. Just give me a minute. I don't even know if it is or not. But, but, today I'm going to give you some nice little tips, some advice on your dreadlocks you know what i mean because you know me being your favorite dreadhead your favorite person you know your favorite dreadhead in on youtube on social media and just in general i thought i'd just help y'all out with a little bit of facts or not facts but more of like my just just you know so you can learn from my mistakes and kind of just you know see so make sure your dreads look look like they are him you know what i mean because as we know uh i am the best dreadhead on cut that out I start no controversies here, but yeah, man, it's just uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna give y'all some little advice and whatnot. Uh, hopefully, I can, you know, y'all will listen and actually use the advice and you know, what I'm saying make sure your dress look nice. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, as you can tell, I, you know, what I'm saying my hair is kind of tied up and whatnot. Uh, from people who have seen my past videos, y'all know how I already go. Y'all probably have heard these before, but for the newcomers who are here. Y'all maybe need the advice or would could like to use the advice if y'all take the time to listen if y'all choose to, which I'm not mad about that. It's cool, that's cool. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should maybe I should uh let my hair down for some show, right? Nah, we nah nah nah. Uh, so basically my hair's tied up. Uh because I didn't want it in my face. Uh, so that's one that's that's the number one advice right there. Keep your dreads out your face, man. Even though it looks kind of cool, which it is kind of cool. It's cool to keep it. Just don't have it in your face all the time. You know I'm saying if you kind of want to keep it in your face for show, do that. But like normally, keep, keep your hair tied up. Uh, for my beginning lockers, uh, do rags. I need you to wear those. I need you to wear those. Not 100% of the time, but make sure you wear it, especially when you go to sleep. That way you keep your hair intact and you kind of like have that pattern or the style that you want your hair to be in. Wear a do-rag is that comp it compresses and it keeps it, you know, keep that good. I don't even know, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like it keeps it like just stayed in that place. Uh, number two, brush your hair. Now, when I say this, like, you know, take a brush and just brush down your hair. And just start brushing down your hair. Hold on, let me see if I can. Uh, you want to take your just brush down, just just brush your hair down. Keeps the frizz out your hair, and you know, saying you won't be looking all dusty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, number three. Number three. Uh, make sure you wash your hair. Say, your beginning locker. Wash your hair at least probably twice, three times. Like every three weeks. If you're new. If you're uh, if you're like in the middle of your dreadlock, you're like you're like it's locked and it's had a good length. You kind of like like how you like mine, like how I kind of like mine. Uh, make sure you just kind of wash once, twice, three times a month. You don't want to wash it too much because then you're washing out oils and all that stuff in your hair, and then you're kind of damaging your hair doing all that. So make sure you're not wash. You know, just wash good every wash. Make sure you're detoxing. I would say the bet for number four, make sure that you detox every retwist you get before every retwist that you get. I would say that's the best what you could do. Only that way because you know you get it washed, you got it cleaned out. Obviously, I think that's just a universal rule, an unwritten rule. Just get your hair detoxed or just get your <clears throat> hair washed before you get a retwist. Everyone knows that. That's just a simple little tip. Number five, I'll oil your oil your hair just consistently like make sure you consistently oil your hair at least <clears throat> like like a couple times a week i don't even know but just make sure you're oiling your hair so that way you dry your hair is not dry you make sure you want to make sure your your scalp and your dreads are never dry because if you have dry scalp it's gonna be your hair gonna be damaged it's gonna be stiff dry it's gonna be falling out it's gonna be it's gonna be bad news uh so make sure you're hold on we're looking at right there okay i heard i heard something outside but but make sure you just kind of keep your hair just 
you just oil it. Uh, preferably use your natural oils. Don't use anything artificial. Just use your natural oils that are good for your hair, like tree oil or coconut, like stuff like that. You, like you find that your regular, you know, hair store for you know for dreadheads and all that. You, you know what I mean. But make sure you keep your hair oiled. It's good. It's healthy for your hair. Keep your hair healthy. Speaking of healthy, pro number uh, tip number six: make sure you you keep your body healthy. You keep your hair healthy because obviously your hair and your scalp is part of your body. So basically, you make sure that you're drinking basically plenty of water. You know what I'm saying? Eating, you know, better. So that because you know your hair is still a part of your whole entire uh, body. So it's kind of like you know you keep healthy. Your hair gonna be healthy. And then, with, you know, with your hair being healthy, then you got some good dreads going on. I'm just giving y'all the advice. Uh, let's see. I would say number six, this is just kind of some advice. A little advice now that since you're, you know, for my dread heads, this is not one more for dreads, more of like, to, you know, try cutting, try, you know, learning how to cut your own hair while you have dreads. You know, while you're, if your dreads kind of covering your hairline, you know what I'm saying? Now would be the time to kind of learn how to cut your own hair. I can't sit here and say, it's gonna be the best because I cut my own hair and I can't sit here and say like, I do the greatest jobs, but you know, now would be the time to practice if you are dreading up, well, you're already dreaded up and your hair is already covering your, you know, hairline, your, you know, just, yeah, your taper, just, you know, try to, you know, get creative, do your own thing. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's more. Uh, make sure your hair is kind of damp. I would say temp, not kind of, like, kind of like, not wet, don't keep your hair wet all the time because then it's gonna sour up and it's gonna stink. Just make sure your hair is kind of just dead. Make sure your hair is just like not dry, you know what I mean? That's why I'm gonna go back to oiling your scalp and uh, oiling your scalp and just keep it just damp. Not like damp words, but just give it, just keep it not dry. I'm trying to, I, mean, I don't I don't know how to word this, but you know what I mean. Let's see, yeah, boom. Uh, oh. When you go to sleep, this is all dread heads. Make sure you're wearing a uh, boom, like you got, make sure you're wearing like a do-rag cap, a uh, bonnet, do-rag. Just make sure something's on your head before you go to sleep. You don't want to go to sleep with nothing on your head. That just goes for any type of like, people with like froze weight, just anything. You don't want to go to hair. Make sure you're wearing a scarf or something. Just make sure you go to, you don't go to bed with your hair just out because then it's gonna, you get your, you just damage it. You're not damaged. It's like you're messing up your something. When you're, you're messing up your hair, you're just making it frizz everywhere. It's not. It's not a good look. I would say the best thing you can do is make sure you have something on your hair before you go to sleep. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else that I'm missing. I don't want to miss anything else for real. Uh, let's see. Uh, dang. I don't know if I have any other, other advice that I could tell you. At, at the at tip of my head right now. But all I can say is that hopefully this helped y'all out. Uh, this did y'all wonders on the planet. Uh, if y'all, if there's any other things or advice, let me know. And I can make a part, and you know, I'll be able to make a part two, you know? I'll make a part two to this. Yeah, I can make a part two. Uh, just give more advice. And you know, I'm just trying to, just trying to spread the dread because I, I love I love the dreadlocks. I love dreadlocks. I just I, I love that. I love it as a hairstyle because it gives out so many so much character. It lets you know like you know how you are as a person. But uh, honestly, just want y'all to keep it safe, man. Just love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Peace out. Oh, hold on. There we go. And just uh, peace out. And just uh, enjoy your life. Keep keep your uh, dreads and keep your locks healthy. Uh, keep your locks healthy. Just keep your locks nice. And then uh, yeah, just you know, what I'm saying I love y'all. Peace. What the heck? Huh? Hey, it's me, Goku. Ain't this something? <sighs> so you genuinely thought that the video was done? Because he ended it? No. Nah, I'm ending it. I just wanna let y'all know that I do love y'all too. Uh make sure that y'all subscribe, like, comment, just help help support us out, you know what I mean? Help support us out. You know, help help the grind. We trying to get big here, man. Like, let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all know minority man definitely has a better dressing than uh that fraud. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, show some love. 
uh, we love y'all and uh, peace. Let's see, we need to, we need to do some. All right, minority fan, peace.